right, folks, welcome back to the fourth game of Indie Showcase Saturday slash Sunday powered by The Shed. And we're going in quite a bit of a different direction here. And this is one I've actually been a little bit excited about. This is Sigma Theory Global Cold War. And it's rather interesting because it's partially developed by Goblin Studio, which did Robothorium, which is a game that I covered not too long ago. They have, I guess, work on multiple games at the same time um, or whatever, because this is quite a bit different than that. But it came out very short shortly after their last game, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, but I, I like Cold War fiction. I've always found the Cold War just, and the spy intrigue in that of it, a very interesting type of fiction. I don't know why, but I, I love good spy stuff. I always find it very interesting. So this is co-developed by Goblins and something called Miklos Studio, which is actually mostly an app developer, but uh, it looks like they've decided to branch out into this a little bit. So it's a turn-based strategy game in a futuristic Cold War. Um, so recruit a squad of special agents and run your intel agency. I love this idea. I, I, I love the idea of running your own spy agency. So it is an early access. Um, but uh, they said it's only going to be for three to six months, and they're basically just adding more content. So the game, the core game seems to be fairly, uh, fairly solid already. So, yes, this is by uh, hey, this is by Goblins and Niklas. Hey, thank you, Rez. Uh, and it is $18 US or 20 bucks Canadian. Uh, there's also a deluxe edition available, which I believe includes the uh, yeah, includes the soundtrack. I have no idea what the soundtrack is like because we've only. Uh, we, this is yet another game I'm going into blind. So uh, very interesting potential idea here. I, like I said, I love the idea of Cold War fiction and the idea of running your own spy agency just sounds uh, really dope. So this is what we're going to try out here today. Uh, we're going to let's go Sigma Theory. Where is it? Uh, wait a minute. Oh, Sigma Theory. Here it is. Oh, it actually has an update pending. Um, it's not a big game, so that shouldn't take long. Join the whistleblowers on Discord. <laughs> I like that. So yeah, um, Robothorium I actually thought was a pretty good game. And, um... Uh, yeah, Robothorium was cool, and this is by the same team. And yeah, a turn-based Cold War like spy agency simulator like this sounds great i don't know sari actually we're gonna see i haven't touched this yet and it decided to ask me if i wanted sticky keys to Oh, it's because I was leaning on my W key. I have cherry red switches, so you barely have to touch the keys for them to register. So. Uh, excuse me. Where's Canada? People, please. I can play for the US, Mother Russia, China, India, France, the UK, Germany, Turkey, Korea and Japan. Really? You know, we do have friggin' you, yeah, Canada is USA in future, yes? You know, we do have friggin' uh, you know, we do have a spy agency in Canada. They have a massive ass building in the east end of the city. Actually, you know what? We probably should. We probably should do Russia, shouldn't we? All right, fine. Fine. You asked for it, comrades. Actually, one moment. No, I gotta put the headphones on first. Alright, comrade. It's time for the Sigma Theory, yes? We do great things for Mother Russia. Oh, uh, yes. We're going to do... We do, we do great spy. We do, be, we do best spy. And I, I mean, I think we know what we must do. Because, you know, this is how Putin came up, right? Putin came up, uh... Actually, no. I'm sorry. We're going to do this a little differently. There we go. 
Is Putin come up as great spy? But we do, we do. We, the KGB they clone special doppelganger, so we play Valerie Putin. Yes, yes, he's very good. Yes, Valerie Putin. And apparently, I have to pick a spouse. Doesn't Russia? Russia doesn't allow homosexuality, do, do they? This is this is truly alternate history. Okay, you know what? A British woman named Margareth Popplewell. I kind of dig that. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, she popped very well. Yes, comrade. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Let's do that. It's very British, Rez. Cup of tea, Governor. Pokovnik Putin. I am Igor Lavrov and I ordered your recruitment. I be your supervisor for next few months. You be directly account to me. Valerie, a specialist in both field operation and delicate diplomatic negotiation, your place is at head of counter espionage. But the Russian government has even more important mission for you. Several days ago, the scientific community developed the Z Sigma theory, a scientific method capable of producing rapid advance with potential to throw the world into chaos. And that is our job, Bliet. Within weeks, we'll see the emergence of new weapons with unimaginable destructive power, as well as tools that can influence economy, society, energy, transport, and even human mind. Civilization will change, and Russia must lead. Russian leader, by which we mean oligarchs, wish to monopolize Sigma technologies. The country that controls Sigma controls the universe, our uh, world. Do what you must to gather team of agents and use... I don't know. That's a good question. No, that's his... That's his... Uh, that's his... Uh, that's his sex doll. Um, we've given you a surveillance drone and a combat drone to assist in field missions. You also have access to diplomatic support to conduct negotiations with leaders of rival nations. Yeah, duh. Obviously. Uh, I'm transferring you to our tactical operations so you can proceed with recruiting your team. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, after the revelation of the existence of the Sigma Theory, Russia called upon my skills to lead a covert organization that would combine scientific research, intelligence, and international diplomacy to defend our nation's interests. My first task is to recruit four agents from a pool of elite operatives. I need a team of professionals with complementary skills, allowing me to act with force or subtlety as necessary. Um, here are a list of available agents. Let's study their skills and choose the best. Some of these agents don't work normally with the governments, even if the offer is good. But recruiting, um, the next age, I should read their profile carefully and understand the motive. Okay, this guy, this guy, okay, Shiva, yes, but also this guy's name is Numbers. This guy looks like, this guy looks like he will do whatever needs to be done to get the job done and gives absolutely zero Fs. Traits, elite, loner, really. The socially awkward agent is incapable of seduction operations. Ooh. I mean, with that beard though, I don't know, man. Bloodthirsty, yeah, look at these friggin' eyes. Bloodthirsty, a remorseless killer who will rarely pass up an opportunity to take a life. Nag, this agent has a callous disregard for using firearms in public areas, disregarding the potential for collateral damage. <laughs> this guy is an epic badass. Okay, yeah, we gotta. Kumar was abandoned as a child sacrifice in the pits of a lost temple dedicated to the goddess Kali. He survived as a wild child, developing extraordinary physical skills and a bestial inhumanity a cannibal and hermit ignorant of the difference between right and wrong he is revered by locals as an animal god in their pantheon his body is a living weapon that can turn against you at any moment wow 
<laughs> wow! Yeah, obviously. I need an unscrew. Okay, I have to give him a reason why. I need an unscrupulous killer. I'm here to offer you a chance for the biggest adrenaline rush you've ever had. With me, you'll be able to escape your destiny. I'm thinking I need an unscrupulous killer. We're, we're going to make great team, you and I, yes? No, this is the guy... This is the guy who would be running one of the factions in the Metro. Like, this guy would own his own station. Holy shiz. Look at all the agents there are. Now, I'm guessing these are agents that I either have to unlock or that will come back in, uh, or that will get added as the game goes through early access. But look at the options you're going to have. So this guy was what? Two brains, nine uh, strength. This guy is like perfectly balanced. Yi Tao Zhu has lived a thousand lives and a thousand adventures. He has stolen suitcases full of triad cash from their own casinos in Ningbo, posted a selfie of himself dancing on the British Prime Minister's desk, and when a tsunami is looming, he reaches for his surfboard. He lives every day as though it were his last, and it often very nearly is. He is capable of anything, whether you like it or not. I love this writing. This is fantastic. Like, for real, this is great. Give me one good reason why I should work with you. I wish to pay you a huge sum of money to do something completely outrageous and equally dangerous. So, I'm guessing you can't recruit them unless you, like, sell them on you. Yeah, he is. I mean, look at that. Just... Ladies... So, okay, so we've got medium brains, medium brawn, high brawn, and no brains. Uh, we probably need someone with high brains. So, what about this lady? Eight ninths is an interesting name. Madison lost her mother at a very young age, and her ambitious father encouraged her academic pursuits. This culminated in her admission to Harvard at the age of 14, where she studied psychology, medicine, and law. She's been on the radar of the intelligence services since the publication of singular and insightful theses on international diplomatic theory. It is tempting to think of mystery as a modern Sherlock Holmes. Her three areas of expertise lend themselves naturally and not infrequently to solving notorious police cold cases. She's a pacifist, weak-willed, methodical, and a loner, which makes sense given her stats. So yeah, let's take her. I represent the best chance you have to do something real. That's a good that's a good point, Sim, actually. Um, I represent your be the best chance you have to do something real, something important with your life. I think this one is the better one. Okay. All right, guys, one more. So we're already uh, 15 minutes in and we haven't even taken a turn yet. Though this is fun in its own way. So I'm thinking, here's another good balance. She might be a good balance. Miss South Korea, then Miss Universe, the young Kim Joo Sun is widely seen as the most beautiful woman of all time. Her elevation to stardom led her to abandon her studies of international economics, but enable her to meet the world's rich and powerful. Her talent for diplomacy is formidable. Athletic, dedicated, and loyal, she strives to be more than just a pretty face. As a celebrity with a global profile who is also a covert espionage agent, she is a unique asset. There is truly more to her than meets the eye. She is a seducer as well. Uh, high profile and master of disguise. Okay, I think that's going to be a good one. Oh, shoot. Well, we failed the recruitment. 
So that's cool though. You can actually fail, like, it's not just pick who you think is best. You gotta convince him to work with you. I, I kinda like that. Let's try this guy. Born to a family of lesser English nobility, Thomas followed his career, followed the career path of an ideal British spy, a top student at Eton, then Oxford, politics and poetry. After accepting an officer's commission, he passed the UK Special Forces selection easily. He has experience in the Afghan and Iraqi theatres, but it is in the corridors of the embassies that he excels, a talent that MI6 has yet to discover. Firearm expert, seducer, wheelman, intricate web weaver, and honest. There we go, we got him. Guys, just this segment was already interesting. This writing is really, really good. Really, really good. All right, comrade. It's time to bring team for Mother Russia, yes? Okay, this map gives a real-time view of global sims and operations. This is my employer. This number represents my comp my employer's confidence in my performance. If I disappoint well in this line of work, being fired is rather unpleasant. You know what this also reminds me of a little bit is Spinnertality. The uh, cyberpunk management sim we played a, a few weeks back. Reminds me a little bit about that. The other countries also have a confidence level with the nation that employs me. If this figure drops, operations and negotiations will become more complicated and nobody likes complicated situation. This is the doomsday clock. The greater the risk of humanity's destruction, the closer it is to midnight. I must do everything in my power to prevent it striking midnight, otherwise there will be no one left to hear it. This button leads to the science division. There I can assign my scientist projects and see their progress. This leads to the table that shows relations with all the major actors on the world stage. Diplomats, terrorists, influential groups, our relations and any missions they assign will be shown here. This button allows me to adjust game settings. This shows the number of technologies I've discovered. When it reaches 15, we will be very close to our objective. My goal is to discover and secure Sigma technologies before other nations. To do this, I need scientists, and they are currently overseas. The first thing I need to do is send an agent on a mission. Move agents by dragging them over a country. Okay. Any country? But like, am I supposed to drag him over a particular country, or like, what am I... Apparently not. When I finish assigning missions, I can click end turn to execute my orders. Okay, that we're still tutorializing. I don't know. Well, I, I was able to pick infiltrate. I think we're still tutorializing though, so... Wait, one or more agents have no missions. Is it just I'm just I just send them off and then when they get there I pick what they want to do? So we just have Okay, so we have contacts there, but we don't have any uh we don't really have any other information beyond what their relations with us are. And it looks like I can send uh, I can send a, uh, a surveillance drone in with the agent. I've arrived in Paris. I await your orders. Okay. Click on their portrait to assign them a mission. Sigma Investigations. Locating scientists working for the enemy is our priority. Obviously, some agents are more capable than others of this task. Hacking. Stealing and manipulating information is key to our operations. If the agent operates from our nation, they will benefit from the best computer tools, but are more likely to be detected. Developing a network of contacts in this country will accelerate our local operations, and an emergency good geographical knowledge is also a major asset. Uh, find a weapon. Due to the airport security and their cover identities, our agents travel without a firearm, but nothing prevents them from finding a weapon on the local black market when they arrive at their destination. 
So she is, she, I'm going to say locate scientist is probably the best thing for this lady to do because she's, you know, she's high on the brains, uses intellect. I'll send a report in two days. Okay. So she's there, everyone else is in progress. This hasn't really talked about the lab or anything. Oh, here we go. Hang on. To win, my country must be the first to discover the ultimate Sigma technology. This is the Sigma technology tree. Each technology changes the rules of our Cold War. Up to two scientists can be assigned to each branch. A scientist specializing in that branch will obviously advance much more quickly. If I research a technology that has already been discovered by another nation, I can reverse engineer it. By using reverse engineering, research progresses more quickly, but I won't benefit from the advantage linked to that technology as it has already been discovered. So I have two scientists already as agents, so they continue to research when they're traveling? Question mark? So it looks like I can drag them around for what so the research happens passively i can just drag them around to different things i guess okay no sorry the scientists are different so the agents are their own thing the spouses and the diplomats are also their own thing so okay that makes more sense so all right So is there, I guess there's not much to do other than wait for these other agents to arrive. I was able to infiltrate their research facility and gathered all the actual intel I could find. Wait, this is the wife. Uh, please accept my congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Your love and support get me through missions. I know you, Margaret. I do my best to ensure my mission help you achieve your professional goal, but I'm going to need your help in return. I know it annoys you, Margaret. They entrust me with this mission and not you, but given your position, you really shouldn't be complaining. Ooh! Okay. Um, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, probably. Yes, we play Sigma Theory, Royal Tiger, and we play, so we playing, we playing special female clone of Putin called Valerie Putin, and we play for Russian spy, it give you age, it give you nation to pick, so we obviously pick Mother Russia, yes? He's called, is is future Cold War, you must play as Mother Russia, yes? Ah, oh, my romance is, my romance is improved, yes? Ah, oh, it's very good. Yes. Surveillance drones are key to the success of exfiltrations, but they also facilitate and accelerate the work of agents by providing information on surveilled areas and security systems. This is Sigma Theory Loop. It is a turn-based uh, strategy game based around a future Cold War, where you are trying to discover um, sort of the the you're trying to discover singularity level technology. Yeah, there was no Canada, so I had to pick you know Russia, obviously. Uh, this is in early access right now. It's developed by the same, uh, partially developed by the same company who developed Robothorium, which was a game I played a while ago um, on uh, this show and that I quite liked. I know, right? They see, have they seen the CESA's headquarters in the east end of this city? It's massive. Uh, England, yes. New Zealand and Australia, no. However, this game is uh, this game is in early access, and there's a lot of content that isn't out yet. So it's entirely possible they might add more stuff. Okay, so one of my agents has found a scientist that we can recruit. My agent knows their position, but not much else. I could ask them to find out more about this scientist to discover their weaknesses. Knowing our target means we can define the best angle of attack. So you have to like, you, you have to send agents to different nations. You have to recruit people, uh, scientists and operatives. You have to actually run sabotage ops. Also the writing for the agent descriptions is one of the best things ever. 
when this VOD goes up, you guys have got to go back and look at the agents that we picked. You have got to look at the main agent we picked. Oh my god, it is bloody brilliant. The writing for him is just incredible. So this might be seduction, convincing them to switch to our side, or perhaps tapping into our budget for funds to bribe them, even though that wouldn't overly please my leadership. Well, this lady is a seductor seductress. Of course, I could also kidnap them, but I doubt they do their best work for us after that. So we're going to seduce, we're going to seduce, seduce him. So apparently we... Oh, it's because he's not fully identified yet. We have to, uh, we have to get him to, uh, we have to get the operative to identify them. Yeah, this guy, Shiva. Actually, can I, sh yeah. Oh no, I can't, I can't read his profile description. This guy's description is freaking incredible. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, General Aeon, we have to, when you play this game about future, this strategy game about future Cold War, you have to pick, you have to pick agency you work for. Obviously we play for Mother Russia, yes? I think I'm gonna get this guy to go hack stuff. Whoa. Hacking will allow our agent to steal or destroy scientific data belonging to an enemy nation. You can choose a target from this map. The state of alert for that nation, their defensive strategies, as well as their geographic position of your hacker all influence the chance of success. If the hacker is in your nation, they'll benefit from, uh, they'll benefit from a full logistics infrastructure to make their work easier. But in the event of failure, your target will know that you ordered the operation and it will have diplomatic consequences. If the hacker is located in the target nation, their geographic proximity will increase their chances of success. But in the event of failure, your agent may be physically traced and captured. Wow, there's a lot of depth to this. And if the hacker is in a third country, their operation will be completely secret, but their remoteness and the lack of specialist infrastructure will impact their effectiveness. So I don't have to hack a country that I'm in, but... So the hack was much more likely to succeed if I hack the country that I'm in, but it will also run the risk of me uh, getting caught much more likely. And I can hack something else and I won't get, get caught, but it will potentially, um, uh, it has a greater chance of failure. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of choices in this game. This game is very much about, um, you know what, let's just tell him to hack here. Oh my god, and look at all this! That you can choose what kind of hack you, pr you pursue. Well, yeah, fair enough. Well, and there's no reason you couldn't, right? Like, there's no reason that that couldn't work, so... Now, why can't he procure a weapon? Well, he is, except he doesn't have... Except he has lower intellect. Let's investigate into this lady here. Okay, so everybody's busy. I just unlocked two achievements. Uh, smoking gun and comprehensive intelligence. My investigation... Wow, my investigation to this diplomat has proved more successful than either of us could have hoped. Uh, okay, we investigated the hell out of some diplomats. Uh, up in here, so... This scientist cares more for work than for people. This si This Cecile Kahn's a woman 
is misogynistic. Interesting. Um, she also cares more for work than anything else, so seducing her is probably not the way to do it. Oh, actually, we can't even select that. Um, let's try to bribe her. Seeing as how we have very high, um, seeing as how we have very high, uh, intellect. Ooh, this person has a compromising uh, criminal record. Investigate into him as well. We unlocked a new agent. Oh, the alert level in France has gone up. So we have Diana Kirkpatrick. Traits ignorant, craven. Oh no, that's... Uh, Narcissistic, craven, criminal record. These are some. Uh, these are some quality people we have here. Uh, hang on. This is my agenda, which shows my diplomatic meetings with my foreign counterparts. I need to schedule one as soon as possible to manage the situation. Uh, okay. So let's go contact. Quest meeting. Meeting won't happen immediately. This leaves us time to prepare. Click on the diplomat we're scheduled to meet. Each head has a file. An agent can investigate them to discover their weaknesses or even better, find a compromising document for blackmail. Ooh. Okay. So, should I move him to the States, then? Uh, this agent must abandon their firearm in order to fast travel. Okay, actually, I don't know. I want to get an agent who is... Um, who can hack and get those compromising files, I think. I think that would be cooler. Um, so let's go for... Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to get him to go after. Let's just get him to recon the area here. Actually, yeah, Rez, they kind of do. Uh, Goblin Studio is very good at this hand-drawn art type stuff. They had a lot of that in uh, Robothorium as well. They're very good at that. This is perfect spy music, though. Perfect, like, Cold War Intrigue spy music. Really, really good. I like it a lot. Move him somewhere else. Oh, he failed at the German database. Germany's upset at us now. All right, let's get this lady to go hacking. I can send one or two drones to Libya to support France and thus improve my diplomatic ties with them. To Libya, okay. Well, let's send a combat drone.
Okay. Wait, one or more agents has no mission. Well, yeah, that's why I was trying to... Okay. So we got to... Uh... Yes, we need to investigate Susan Harris here. Compromising files. Alcoholic. Oh, here we go. Oop. Their opinion... Their opinion is, is on... Their opinion... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Pokrovnik, I've got a problem. A journalist called me about some experiment I carry out in past. Experiment that, that weren't ethical. You Putin, you understand. I can't... I cannot concentrate because I worry about article. <laughs> their opinion is unimportant. I will take care of it or work hard and there'll be no article. I take care of it. We must locate... Do I have to send a rep... Do... Oh man. Do I have to send an agent into my own country? Oh man. Do I have to infiltrate my own country? Like double agent this stuff? That'd be rad. So, um, we know that this woman is an alcoholic, so I think we have what we need for our next mission. We're gonna go locate some scientists, too. Yeah, well, yes. You're, yeah, you're not wrong. Kavar Kavarsis Pharmaceutical Corporation. Whoa, 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 whoa. These discoveries will revolutionize farmland and world demographics. We'll be at your side to receive the greatest financial and ethical benefits. We want to work with you. Every time you make progress in our sector, we'll reward you with greater means to achieve your goals. We appreciate any advances, whether issued from your old laboratories or acquired. Okay, so this person is very interested in working with us in the health field. Okay, we got a meeting here, guys. <clears throat> Comrade, you put on best Russian charm for pretty America, for pretty capitalist pig dog lady, yes? Yes. Would you like some quality vodka, ma'am? A diplomatic meeting helps improve relations with the country, but also to obtain Oh of course. I mean it is it is it is it is hat of great nation, yes? Also to obtain research results and even exchange scientists, it is a powerful tool which could help us win this war peacefully. This bar shows the level of trust. The higher the marker, the greater the chance of my request succeeding. To make the marker rise, I need to have good relations with this country. Know my contacts' weak points and offer something of equal value in exchange for my requests. Wow, we have a lot of options here, guys. <laughs> yeah, drive quality Lada van, yes? Pokovnik, my country's leaders send their regards. Is everything going well in department? I'm only negotiating with you because of my admiration. I'm sure you're aware that I won't let anything or anyone stand in my way. That include you. I'm not eager to admit, but I'm in bad spot. I need help. You and I are only ones who know the truth. We need each other. Thank you for making time and busy schedule. Don't listen to the fake news. I'm on your side. Or I have a dossier I think you might want to see. I'm only negotiating with you because of my admiration for you. Uh, that would probably... Yeah, she's a narcissist. This diplomat might agree to your demands if you threaten them with something concrete. Okay, so we know the two things here. Wow, she's really a narcissist. Improve relations, economic advantage, lower the alert level, access to your research, or acquire a scientist. Living in America. And 
And what am I offering in exchange? How about not telling them that you're an alcoholic? You offer nothing in return significantly increases the chances of failure. Your proposal is unacceptable. Oh, lady, it's on. Yeah, yeah, lady, you, you, you getting it. Okay, so we had an issue in... Oh, right. Oh! Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We had to take care of that journalist who was threatening our scientist. I think we know who's best suited for that, don't we? We need our man Shiva with his barren eyes, yes? Oh, yes, Bliet. We showed that... We showed that Bonjet journalist. I tell his journalism in Russia is what Putin tell you it is. This is why I all go work for RT. I think it's time we learn a little bit about him. Some recon there, Maestro. Diplomat secrets are very well buried. You know what we're also going to do? That, uh, what was it, health? Oh, we have someone in health already, actually. Okay, after she's done this, I'm going to move down there because that pharmaceutical company wants to work with us for health-related things, right? So... Wait. I can't do anything in my own country. I thought I had to do something about that scientist. Now, can I hack my... What if I hack my own country? Could I do that? Apparently I can't. It made it sound like you had to, to run counter ops against your, your your own country, which I think would, would be actually pretty dope. Alright. Let's go do a hack here. So it looks like he can't actually do a lot here, so... All right, let's send him off to Japan then. Wait, one or more agents has no missions? Okay, she's gonna go identifying for me. Achievement unlocked international cooperation. Her combat drones supported another nation's military, okay. The target has been removed by an enemy agent working for Turkey. We will resume operations in that country. Whoa! This synthetic substance stabilizes the life cycle of cells. The benefits are too numerous to count, starting with a cure for every known form of cancer. Whoa! We can disclose this technology to the world for the good of all mankind. He's no, you no understand how Russia works, do you? However, Kavarsis Pharmaceuticals, an influential group in health, has requested that we deliver this information to them for their exclusive exploitation. Now, let's do that. I hope you're pleased with yourself. You're a friggin' Russian. Don't you friggin' bring your ethics into this. I don't friggin' want to hear your crap.
Okay, so this lady actually graduated from neurosciences, so actually putting her on health would not be a good idea. I gotta say, guys, there's a lot to this game. Like, there's a lot to balance and think about uh, at the same time. It's, it's kind of crazy in many ways. I have to say, a local operative tried to kill me and I had to defend myself. They're dead. They're going to interrogate me. I'll send you an agent who'll clean it up. I'll ask my superiors to send you a diplomatic escort. You're higher up than me and you don't have a solution. Wait, she's higher up than me? Wait, did it just send one guy? I didn't get to pick what agent? Council of States is an influential group that is very interested in your research into neurosciences. In time, we believe Sigma will give us the power to control people's minds and even entire countries. This power must not fall into the wrong hands. Hands that are not ours, for example. Every time you make progress... Huh, interesting. Okay. So yeah, it just sent him. Why did you send... Could I not have picked the guy we were going after? It's not. Okay. Um, Korea is apparently in first place here, so I think we should go after them. I think we're also... I think we're also gonna go after Korea. Hey, Ray Doge. Whoa, look at this. You'll be able to... Okay, so you unlock agents by getting further in. So in our next game, we'll be able to unlock uh, Ryder, who looks like basically a synthwave guy. Putin Italien, indeed. Um... Okay, so he's going to go... Uh, he's going to go reporting around town. So when, so I said I'd send an agent to help out what's her name. I don't know if he's doing it or if somebody else is. It's unclear to me. Okay, we need to, um, I need to get some dirt on the Koreans so I can set up a, so I can set up a meeting with them. Yeah, I agree, I do. This sign, <laughs> this person's misandrous, okay. He's a Twitter user. Indeed. The scientist enjoys discussing that is that isn't that patriotic? Chauvinistic is not you enjoy discussing your home country. That's not what chauvinism is, I don't think. Uh, 
na other nations are making discoveries. Oh, China's China's given up. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. Uh, China's given up, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of scientists we could uh, we could we could recruit. Um, so that would be interesting. Uh, let's maybe send him there. So, I don't know why I can't pick these two things, which are the ones that she would actually need. She's impervious. She's impervious. She's not motivated by money. I can't seduce her or convince her, even though I have all the stuff needed for that. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What's this? What's happening in Bolivia? Military operation underway with China, who is not terribly useful right now. Oh boy. We're now live on national radio. What? We're doomed. <laughs> We're doomed. Is li life in Ra Mother Russia, yes? Well, okay. Uh, see if I can get her to hack. Actually, no. I'm going to get her to go after Korea. Steal Sigma data. Okay. Oh, got another agent for the next game. Alright, let's talk to the Japanese and the Koreans then. Well, no. I already have a meeting scheduled, I know. I can't schedule another one for another day. I have to do it at the same time. That's a little strange, no? criminal associate. Let's get him somewhere where he can do more use. Uh, 
Oh, Korea's really unhappy with me. Oh, good. And now all our agents in Korea have arrest warrants out for them. GG. You're supposed to have eight intellect, and yet you're apparently really, really terrible at hacking. Like, really terrible. All of you people are terrible hackers. Compromising, adulterers, formal, and ignorant. I guess we can't... Oh, right, because China's given up. I guess we can't talk to their general uh, either. Um, interesting. Okay. Okay, well, we just made a thing with Germany. So this lady is both paranoid and craven. Uh, I want some of your technology. What am I offering in exchange? How about not releasing your friggin' crap? Huh? Achievement unlocked, diplomat. Okay, well we just got access to some stuff. I think we definitely need more scientists, so I'm going to get people looking for those. Um, the scientist cares more for work than for people. Let's just abduct this person, see how it goes. Everything is ready for the capture and exfiltration. Okay, so I have to send the drone in for that, I guess. My country doesn't approve of your methods. Yeah, well, how about this method? Yeah, let's just abduct this person and see how it goes. Let us improve relations. What are you offering in exchange? Let's give you money. 
And we just got another, uh, we just got another agent unlocked. Agent Shiva can proceed with the exfiltration. To do this, click on the agent to display their file. Oh, there we go. The aim of exfiltration. Oh, wow, look at this. We can send support for him to do this. The aim of exfiltration is to support the agent in getting to a secure extraction point. The more discreet the agent and the less violence they use, the greater the chance of success. Oops. Um, this is the level of alert of the authorities. The more discreet the agent, the less authorities will pursue them and fewer opponents they will encounter. Um, this is the agent's weapons. A well-armed agent can take on a greater number of enemies. A poorly armed agent can always try to flee and stay hidden. This shows the drones that can help an agent during a mission. A surveillance drone allows the agents to make the best decisions and perhaps avoid any armed forces in the area. A combat drone can eliminate these forces, but will cause numerous casualties. If you have good relations with the local armed group, it will be shown here. In case of an armed conflict, the group can be involved to cover any agent. And I don't have any drones available. Oh, wow, look at this! He's trying to get through the map! I have to actually guide him out. Oh dear. Well, the alarm has gone way up. GG. Pretend to be an employee. Yeah, that will work super well for him. This is really neat. I suspect I'm not playing it very well, and I'll probably get my ass kicked. But we're actually over time here on this. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna complete this segment, and then I think we'll we'll be there. Um, I haven't discovered yet. But there's only a matter of time. Take the police by surprise. I mean, this is what he does, right? We still got a ways to go. Yeah, I do too. This is really cool. I really am enjoying this. I might have to stream some of this game otherwise. Okay, he just ran into cops. Hey, Loop, he ran into the Gigan. And he's actually eliminating them is the lowest risk thing for him. No, we just unlocked another agent. Neutralize. No, I'm using I'm using lethal force. He just he overrode me. Caused five or more civilian casualties in an exfiltration. GG is quality Russian operative. He's take no prisoner and cause all trouble. Oh, he used intellect. Well, that didn't work. Oh boy, we got more gigans. This is not working well. There's no way out of this. He can't like every every option he has is is high risk. And we lost Shiva. Rip, comrade. Well, that went south really quick. <laughs> 
Well, all right, guys. Um, we got one more game here, and we're actually overtime on this one. But uh, listen, that is uh, that is Sigma Theory Cold War. It's in early access right now. Very, very promising. Obviously, much like Spinnertality, this is a game that is mostly menus, but it's really cool. Like, really cool. Uh, I This has a lot of promise. It's clearly a game that's in a very good state, even though it's in early access. Uh, if you're interested in Cold War type fiction and strategy games like that, highly recommend this. 18 bucks US, 20 bucks Canadian. Um, pretty good deal on that. Uh, I will be, I may, I may play this on another stream. Uh, and I will definitely continue to revisit this game later as it goes through development because they got something really cool here. The last Goblins game, which was Robothorium, I thought was pretty good. This is something a cut above. And I love this idea of a, of a spy intrigue game. So, hey, Tech, how's it going, man? All right, guys, we've got one more game left today. And this one's also quite a bit different from the other ones we've done. So... If you are watching on YouTube, please like, comment, share, subscribe, etc. It does help the videos get noticed by more and more people. Uh, we've had a, an interesting mix of stuff today. Only kind of one stinker in this lot, but uh, a lot of them have been really cool. And I'm really glad I got the opportunity to play Sigma Theory because this game looks like it has a lot of potential. Very much like Spinnertality did. So stick around, guys. We've got one more game to try today. Indie Showcase Saturday slash Sunday, powered by The Shed. We'll come back in just a moment. See you soon, comrade. He's very good, yes? <laughs>